We're going to do a quick four card read, starting with the strength card. Leo energy. You're strong. You're happy. You have it all. But you're still holding on to an injustice. Libra. Pisces. Aquarius. Cancer. Leo. Talking to you. The bottom of the deck. I saw Seven of Wands. But it was in reverse. And then I saw Four of Swords. So I see a um, you're trying to heal from a, some an abuse. For me, Seven of Wands in reverse is abuse. There's standing your ground and then there's just abuse. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. The amount of work that you have to do or that you have done to do this healing, the amount of time that it's taken uh, has taken a toll on you. You're tired of it. You feel emotionally manipulated. You feel financially manipulated. It's clear to you that you were completely isolated and left without any material possessions or a place to live or close. Isolation, loneliness. You saw how your options suddenly gone, right? And through it all, and you've been so loving. And you built a home and you protected yourself, and you protected your loved ones, and you told the truth whenever you could. What else do you even want at this point? What else could you have done? Spirit message, ancient ancestors. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot to do my intro. I was gonna do like a intro of like the crash test dummies, but I don't know if it's really sticking. Mm -hmm. Situations have called for you to have trust, grace, mystery, and humor. This pain that you feel you really hide because you enjoy life so much and you live life to the fullest and you experience so much joy and flow like you're just like the most like loving most beautiful wonderful person like seriously like I that's that's you one more sometimes you have a hard time having faith with salmon faith determination independence and change you have to have faith. Not only in change, it's really more, way more than that. You have to have faith in these deaths, in these life cycles, in the sacrifices that you had to make 
You believed in that at the time. You believed in it at the time. So don't second guess yourself now. Your awakening. You've been spending a lot of time listening. know how to receive I don't know how to let the love in I don't know how to let someone protect me this is why this is why this is why protection four of wands is a protection card for me so sort of, sort of uh, four of pentacles can be as well in the mother peace deck It's like, it's like you have so much love, so much love with the matriarch of vessels, but all you can think about is how people call you this. The matriarch of pipes. Okay. The thing to remember is that, um, I don't really, this is just for some people, I don't, I'm not really sensing this with a lot of people, but whatever you're mourning, you need to see that for what it is, you were not content in this situation, and I'm here to remind you, okay, this was not going anywhere, sled in reverse, these people were seeing a lot of people, they had a lot of people involved in with you. Um, they had other men or women. Take it how it resonates. Trans. They had. Um, I am. I am sensing out. I am sensing a trans woman. I am sensing a trans woman. Um, is that is that what's happening? Let me pull. I don't know. There could be a, a trans woman here. Anyway, this person, this job, I'm sensing that this was a financial situation or some type of rela personal relationship. Um, this person was bringing all of these other people into your relationship. Instead of talking to you about problems, they were going to other people people that really weren't your friends and didn't know you. Some of them had never even met you. Many of them didn't. Understand this. You were not in a relationship with one person. You were in a relationship with maybe, I, I just heard 20 people. Uh, I'm hearing um, a couple women. I'm hearing um, perhaps um, quite a few men. I don't know how many. Some of them, uh, I'm hearing one was a very, very, very close relationship. Um, I'm hearing, um, I'm hearing um, a f um, lying to ourselves. Wow. 
So um, the community knew about this person's um, activities, Three of Pentacles, and that they, they all knew that uh, perhaps What do they know? I'm gonna leave that track because I'm I'm hearing I'm hearing unbalanced love. Um, I did see the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands. This could be um, two women, or this could be um, one man and one woman. Who uh, one man has very feminine energy. Um, a Gemini or a Sag. What else? Whoa, whoa. Um, I'm hearing uh, Queen of Wands, Five of Cups, Hierophant. Um, I'm hearing that there is a a woman that is connected or was connected through marriage. I'm hearing there is also a um, A, there's a woman here who feels a lot of misery over something that she did. And what I'm sensing um, with the Hermit in Reverse is that, um, and the Knight of Pentacles, which came up right away, is that this woman was um, asked to carry a, a load of shame for like 20 people. Um, or more. Uh, with Lovers in Reverse, I'm looking at as this was kind of done against their will. Um, so what's the point? Let go. Four of Pentacles in Reverse. Um, I would go ahead and rush forward into new jobs, new works, craftsmanship. You've already done the inner work. Now you know this wasn't love. This was like... This was like everybody like knew some things about you. And this is always how it goes with these types of things. There's, there's always the person that's the last to know that's like actually involved in the betrayal. I'm just going to receive confirmation. Okay, it's easy to let go. How do you do it? I mean... I'm sensing that uh, with the Nine of Cups and the pain comes and goes. How to let go. Mm. Realize that this was what the offer you were given. A fucking page of cups with the little fucking pantaloons on and a cup with a fish on it. Is there even water in that cup? for this fish and look it's standing behind him he's standing on a stage set does that look like a real ocean to you do you think there's real water in that cup even does that cup stink
that's the message that you I have for you today. It's been revealed to you that within your home at this time was a king of swords in reverse. Cruel. Guarded. Weak. What? Why is this here? Wow. Okay, this person was not, they took you for granted. Manipulation, king of cups in reverse. Um, they manipulated your money. They told you you were gonna build with you. They said you were gonna make an offer. Um, but that, that was a lie. See, that's why this is here. He wasn't even going, thinking about doing it really. There was no offer. How do I know that? There was nothing to be had. It was a page of cups. You saw that. But you didn't know how to communicate it. You just felt it. Because, let's see, all of these people, all of these people were telling you, no, do not leave the situation like how could you leave the situation like this person has all this stuff to offer but it was an illusion I mean meanwhile I mean really might as well have been a dragon in a cup you could feel it though why could you feel it oh my god because you just see through things, I guess. And what you saw was that there was no unconditional love here. And so with a heavy heart, you were ready to start on a new start. I guess what the only question would be like what exactly um, is the advice let the tower fall let it fall this manipulative person who presents as an emperor or a chief of council is actually a page of cups full of addictions and indolence. Who chose to go towards toxicity, drugs, Pointless shit. Who purported to be building a legacy but is not. They're looking for opportunities but not really much happening there. Ten of Pentacles.
Money might be good, but lots of traveling on Happy Family. Supposedly, whatever this is. Why are they unhappy? Who is this unhappy family? Someone who lies to themselves. I was kind of wondering. Knight of Pentacles. Maybe you aren't happy. Because you're not letting go. Even though there's nothing to hold on to, it never was. Those who recite words of great teaching with no experience of really living are like people who count the cows of others and have never tasted butter. Those who practice what they understand and pay attention to what they do, their actions grow in accord with their existence and their words are true. This is, gave you experience. This gave you experience. Helped you learn about karma, how to start over again, and how sometimes things just hurt, and there ain't nothing you can do about it. You, whatever you lost here, you've gotten it back. You're still sad. At the end of the day, are you addicted to sadness? At the end of the day, you can't fight what has already happened. Meditate and enjoy the emptiness of your mind. It will look for distraction when it wanders. Call it back. You will forget and your mind will lead you away from yourself. Remembrance will lead you home. Your meditations will bring you joy and these joys will multiply when you are watchful. I think you need to keep talking about your experience and you need to, in order to obtain forgetfulness in this, because you cannot be forced and I understand that, is that you must meditate. And whenever you think about this, um, I want you to think about um, how this was a, a distraction from your original mission. What you practice is what you will reap, whether it is remembrance or forgetfulness. Just as a water pot is filled drop by drop. Forgetfulness is a pleasure that will turn to misery. Desire is strong if left unattended. Awareness disappears. I'm not sure I understand the first part. Hmm. The brilliant chariots of kings are destroyed, so too the body dies. The only aspect of life that goes on well living is awareness and the truth it brings. That's all I have for you today. If 
you re coming to this reading. It's because it resonates with you and I hope it helps. Um, if it does not resonate with you, then definitely don't watch it. I should have said that earlier. Uh, I am not really doing zodiacs. I mean, when I put a zodiac on the on the video, I mean, it's really just a symbol. We all have all the zodiacs in our chart. So, therefore, <sighs> it really just depends on whatever issue you need to deal with in your life. Any final words? You have gotten away. Seven Pentacles, Six of Swords. You got away from these motherfuckers, man. Fuck these people. Fuck them. Fuck these people. You don't have to do anything. These people are idiots. Full reverse Seven of Pentacles. All they ever do is look at what they don't have. Don't be like them. Be in gratitude. I heard recently that the only antidote to resentment is gratitude. And also the other thing I heard was that um, resentment is the hardest um, emotion to deal with. And I think that's really true. I know that you didn't have trouble with, you know, love. And you didn't have trouble with not hating and you didn't have trouble with rolling with it and accepting things what you did have trouble with was the resentment that you didn't even know was there which led to hate and then since you had never experienced hate before you experienced the worst resentment that you've ever ex felt in your life because i know you you're like a pure soul, like you're like loving, unconditional, like so loyal. Not a perfect person, but absolutely fucking loyal and very, um, just, let's see the cards say, just kind of, here we are. Yeah, here we are star like you are just like this healing like guiding light to people even these people that they were all looking up to you they really were i mean a lot of them were and they saw what you were doing and you're gonna continue like being like this north star to these people whether they hate you or love you just remember if people like you a bunch of people like you you're not really a leader don't try to be liked just follow your truth I hope you have a wonderful 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 time this week wherever this finds you